What's up you guys, Kyle Barloon here coming at you with another video! And in this video today, we are going to show you my favorite breakfast smoothie recipe I've ever had in my entire life, ever! The Cafe Mocha Coffee Shake. Let's go. Now, unlike those big long recipe blogs that tell you the whole life story behind the recipe and all that stuff, I'm going to give you some simple reasons as to why I love this shake and why I did it. Reason number one, I love coffee in the morning. However, it makes me poop. But with this recipe, it don't do that. Number two, if I eat way too much in the morning, then I get really full and I feel gross and I don't have a lot of energy for the rest of the day. But with this shake, it's high in protein, high in caffeine, and it gives me steady energy throughout the day until lunch. Reason number three, sometimes you just need something super quick in the morning and this takes literally less than 60 seconds to make. And of course, you can find this recipe in my brand new cookbook, the Low Calorie Cookbook, the cookbook for people who love to eat. There are tons of recipes in there, they're updated daily. Just also realized I still have these earbuffs on. Kobe. First thing you're going to need for this recipe is a food scale, okay? These things are 10 bucks at Target. If you don't have one by now, what are you doing? Second thing you're going to need is a personal size blender. You get one of those huge blenders, you got to transport it in different bottles, and then it's a pain in the butt. Personal blender makes it easy. That takes care of the hardware. Let's go ahead and get into the ingredients. You're going to need coffee, of course. What I like to do is I like to just brew it all up, put it in the fridge the night before, and then I have it for the entire week. If you didn't think ahead and you brewed it the morning of, just go ahead and put it in the freezer for like 10 to 15 minutes, it's gonna be ready to go. The next ingredient you're gonna use, I like to use peanut butter protein powder. I use Quest, cause it's super delicious and it's very low calorie. 110 calories per serving per scoop. This is the low calorie version that's also gonna taste amazing. And the third ingredient, the most simple one of all and arguably the most delicious, mocha java powder. You're gonna need half a serving or one tablespoon or 14 grams, however you wanna look at it. Oh! Oh, oh my gosh, totally forgot. I'm gonna need a lot of ice too. First things first, I put in my ice. Make sure your food scale's on. Reset it to zero. You go 12 ounces of coffee. Reset it to zero again. Let's go ahead and take our mocha java powder. We're gonna go one tablespoon for 14 grams. Last ingredient is the Quest protein powder. Just one scoop is all you need. Chuck it in. Shake her up. Blend it. All right, before I give you the calorie breakdown, I do a good old taste test first. I'm gonna do it like Donald Trump. <sighs> or like the Zucks. Mm. We did not use creamer in this, but if you choose to, do not use regular creamer. Use almond milk. Here's the beauty of this whole thing. It's very, very low calorie, but with the protein and the caffeine, it's gonna give you long lasting energy and you're gonna feel full because caffeine is an appetite suppressant and protein is very satiating. So when you combine those two things together, you can't help but feel full, satisfied, and feel like you're eating like Starbucks or something. So for the shake in total, we are looking at only 170 calories, 24 grams of protein, 15 grams of carbs, four grams of fat. We don't have any fiber, but that's not the purpose of this meal. This, you guys, is a delicious. <laughs> I came and I, I literally have this most mornings. That's how good it is. Again, the link to that recipe book is down below in the description. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, please make sure to thumbs up the video and subscribe so you can see more recipes and other videos like these. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.